Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another PvP guide. As promised, today's focus will be Elemental Shaman and we will try to cover talents, PvP talents, legendaries, best covenants, soul binds, conduits and stat priority. Like always, I will try to keep this as short as possible. You will find timestamps in the description below and keep in mind that this guide is for patch 905. Let's get started for talents there are a few variations in the low level tiers which we will cover in a moment however this is how the default standard talent picks should look like echo of the elements echoing shock earth shield master of the elements nature's guardian primal elementalist and storm keeper for tier 15 if you find yourself constantly being tunneled and you need to kite a lot with very few hard casts you may get a lot of value out of earth and rage i know this talent looks trash but it's usually around five or six percent of your total damage a good example might be if you are facing uh, a restoration shaman and arms warrior where you are forced to kite and have to deal with two interrupts, grounding totem and spell reflection. In this type of situation you are most likely not going to get full value out of two charges of lava burst and so you are going to rely on your lava surge procs. This talent can add some passive pressure especially when you are kiting. I never tested static discharge but it can can prove useful for preventing or stopping healers from drinking again i did not test this so i don't know if you need line of sight for this to work or not for uh, tier 25 you'll be playing with echoing shock for the most part but since the lava burst nerf and the earth shock buff you might want to pick the aftershock talent in some situations we'll circle back to this when we reach the legendary section as there is something really interesting about this talent for tier 30 nothing special earth shield in most situations but if you need extra help kiting and you're up against uh, specs that bring a mortal strike effect then spirit wolf is going to help you a lot next uh, master of the elements is mandatory no real competition here for tier 40 if you're having trouble against uh, mind games you may want to pick uh, ancestral guidance versus vent tier priests it might save your life and for the last two tiers you never spec into anything else primal elementalist and storm keeper are the best options in my opinion moving on to pvp talents the standard options are lightning lasso sky fury totem and grounding totem lightning lasso is the bread and butter of your spec so you always pick this five seconds stun with a ton of damage yes please then uh, you're going to need grounding totem against pretty much every composition in the game the exceptions are uh, Mistweaver monks that are playing with either warriors or windwalker monks. Against everything else you will need grounding totem. I am not going to list everything grounding totem counters but among the most threatening abilities are convoke the spirits, mind games and combustion. Use it wisely. For our uh, third pvp talent slot we have a few more defensive options like spectral recovery which synergizes very well with the spirit wolf talent traveling storms uh, reduces thunderstorms cooldown and is usable on friendly targets as well you can abuse this on z-axis maps like uh, blades edge arena and i also want to mention uh, a unique option which synergizes very well with the aftershock talent and that is elemental attunement again keep this in mind as we will circle back to this when we reach the legendary section the rest of the pvp talents feel like cluster uh, purifying waters looks interesting but three percent of your hp in this bursty meta means nothing so i guess that means we move on to the good stuff legendaries there are probably five legendaries worth mentioning for elemental shamans right now all of them good legendaries in different situations i don't advise spending an eternity in torgas to get all of them so pick 
carefully. The most popular options right now are Elemental Equilibrium and Wind Speaker's Lava Resurgence. Elemental Equilibrium is godlike for bursty setups as you're stacking a lot of damage modifiers every 30 seconds. Flame Shock Echoing Shock, Lava Burst, Lightning Lasso is a standard 30 second burst, Echoing Shock will trigger the Legendary and Master of the Elements will further buff your next Lightning Lasso. Of course for more damage you want to use Sky Fury Totem and a non-use Trinket. Wind Speaker's uh, Lava Resurgence is for... Uh, more pressure and right now because of the earth shock changes you might want to try it with the aftershock talent and elemental attunement if you're lucky you can chain earth shock into lava burst into earth shock into lava burst and so on make sure you have as much maelstrom as possible before doing this as it will result in a lot of devastating damage Enjoy. Other strong legendaries are Earth and Harmony, making your Earth Shield heal more than Resto Shamans, but note uh, that you will lose a lot of damage. Chains of Devastation. I never tried this one, but have seen some shamans having fun with this in 3v3 Arena and Battlegrounds. Instant Chain Heals and Instant Chain Lightnings that cost no mana. Interesting design, I wish I had the Soul Ash to test this one as well. Moving on to my favorite legendary Skybreaker's Fiery Demise, this legendary has so much potential, but um, it obviously has a big weakness, Friendly Dispel. This is probably best in slot if you're playing 3s with an Affliction Warlock or a Shadow Priest as both of them bring Dispel protection, more targets, more Flame Shocks, faster ticks, more tick criticals, faster elementals and of course even more lava surge procs. Very interesting synergy in my opinion, I did play with this in 2v2 with the Night Fae Holy Priest to further help me reduce the cooldown and to be honest there were fights where I had a permanent fire elemental, especially against classes with pets. Definitely a good legendary but probably not the best one. Moving on to our covenant options, there are no options, Necrolord is the best and only option. Primordial Wave is uh, very much needed and the defensive capabilities that this covenant brings are also very important. Not to mention that Fleshcraft got buffed in this patch. For Soul Binds we also have almost zero flexibility, Plague Divisor Marileth is the best for Arena with Ooze Frictionless Coating and Ultimate Form both being very strong defensive options. Bonesmith Hire Mirror is an interesting option for Battlegrounds if you want to have some fun. For conduits you need tumbling waves which uh, gives you a chance to not incur its cooldown. Vital accretion increases your maximum health while your earth elemental is active. Couple that with the other defensive options the earth elemental brings and you should be unkillable for an entire minute, in theory at least. Call of Flame, another mandatory conduit, making your Fire Elemental last longer. Fire Elemental is probably your highest source of pressure and there are no better options anyway. For the final tier of conduits, you want either Totemic Surge or Thunderous Pause for the Finesse Conduit slot. And for the second Endurance Conduit, uh, Refreshing Waters is decent, but only pick this if you're maybe dueling. What's next? Uh, yes, stat priority. As with any other class in the game, the number one priority is of course versatility, especially because of the way it scales with our PvP trinkets set bonus. It gives us a lot of damage and damage reduction. After versatility, the best recommendation is haste, uh, critical strike and the last one being mastery. However, you could stop getting more haste after reaching 11%. You get 2 extra flame shock ticks, your cast time is 1.3 seconds. In my opinion more haste won't change a lot. On the other hand crit scales very well with elemental shaman. 
you have no abilities that get their cooldown reduced by haste and no hidden procs per minute that get affected by haste i know uh, lava burst is a guaranteed crit but earth shock and lightning lasso are not and those spells hit very very hard also as elemental shamans we have elemental fury passive which gives us more crit power and we also have sky fury totem to me it makes a lot more sense to get uh, that critical strike chance higher and not ignore it and finally the reason i don't like mastery is because it only affects lava bursts lightning bolt and chain lightning i don't have any mastery on my gear and i think the 15 percent baseline mastery is enough for weird lottery procs with that being said uh, we reached the end of this video i really hope you enjoyed this guide and found a lot of useful information if you enjoy my work please consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell as this will help the channel in the long run thank you all for watching and until next time enjoy your pvp bye bye